so, um, does anybody here use the internet? <laughs> yeah, I use the internet. I, uh, I use Twitter. I, I get trolled on Twitter pretty regularly. Uh, random people send me mean tweets. And, and look, the best way to deal with a troll on Twitter is not to block them, but to somehow find a way for the troll to block you. Then you win. You win the game of trolls. <laughs> I, uh, I've got trolled the other day by a guy from uh, the United Patriots Front, which is a, uh, a white nationalist, neo-Nazi gang, charming bunch, and uh, <laughs> this guy was like, Nazim, you're a terrorist that believes in Islam, or as I like to call it, Pislam. And I thought, that's a pretty clever pun, so I like that. <laughs> but then I went on Facebook and uh, I found a photo of his family. I photoshopped my face onto his wife's face, and I sent it to him. He didn't block me. I was like, shit, that's all I got. That's my A game. <laughs> I don't know what to do. He's like, I know what you're doing, Nazim. You're one of these guys that tries to act like a nice guy, but really what you are is an extremist Muslim masquerading as a moderate Muslim. That's what you are. I said, no, I'm not. I'm not an extremist Muslim. I said, you're an extremist Australian masquerading as my future husband. And then I sent him the photo again. <laughs> my face. He still didn't block me. He's like, I know what you're doing, mate. You and your Muslims, what you're trying to do is take over Australia. That's what you're trying to do. You're trying to take over. I said, we're not trying to take over Australia. That's, ne that's never come up at our weekly Islam meetings. It's not an agenda item. <laughs> we're busy people. We don't have time for more extracurricular activities. I said, look, even if we were going to take over Australia, that's a better proposition than extremist white people taking over. Because at least if extremist Muslims took over, everybody else, you could all just pretend to be Muslim. That's easy. Just grow some facial hair, say brother a lot, hang out at kebab shops, eat halal snack packs. Easy, right? <laughs> if you guys took over, we all couldn't just pretend to be white. That's impossible, unless we did this. And then I sent him a photo of me with his wife's face, photoshopped on my face. <laughs> start to get really confusing. I was like, look, I don't, even, I don't even know why we're fighting, you know? We're just a couple of guys, you know? We should just be friends. You know, you're an angry white guy. I'm an angry Muslim. We're just two sides of the same coin, you know? You're angry because you're told that your way of life is under threat. We're angry because we're told our way of life is a threat. You're angry because you reckon Muslims are stealing your jobs, your awesome taxi driving jobs, you know? <laughs> just angry because our lives are crap, you know, we can't afford shit, house prices are too expensive, so instead of fighting each other, we should get angry at the government because it's their job to make Australia a better, more prosperous society, but instead of letting them distract us, why don't we just redirect our rage at the government? Bro, he's like, what are you trying to say, mate? That we should just blow up Parliament House? Is that what you're trying to say? <laughs> I said, see, we even think the same, bro. <laughs> We should just join forces, march towards Parliament House, have a bogan Muslim army. Aussie, 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 Allahu Akbar! <laughs> and, then he, and, then, and then he just blocks me. I was like, why'd you block me? I thought we were onto something. I thought there was a new dawn. Anyway, you guys have been awesome. Thank you very much. Catch up.